going on guys it's Trevor here and today we're gonna to be looking at a very cool and special weapon and that would be the Monte Carlo yes today I've got the Monte Carlo for you and we're gonna be looking at the uh, review looking at some multiplayer gameplay and some single player now up on screen you can see all the abilities that the Monte Carlo can do I'm gonna let you read that you can pause the video at your own pace but while I talk about this gun so let's waste no time let's get right into it the Monte Carlo is an auto rifle and a PlayStation exclusive yes that's right sorry Xbox fans this is only for PlayStation until next year in the fall of 2015 but the Monte Carlo is not a bad uh, it's not a bad auto rifle it's really not I mean on a uh, single player on uh, PVE it's ve it's a very good auto rifle it's fire rate it's comparable to the, uh, I think the Shenzhen E, I'm not sure on that, but it is a very, very good auto rifle in the fact that it has a controllable fire rate, it's not too overpowered or not too, uh, not too much, it's not like a minigun, but it is a very respectable fire rate. Um, going over to impact, the impact on this gun, it does suffer a little bit, the impact is, uh, it's not the greatest, so when you go... Remember that when you go to uh, PvP, or not PvP, but I guess Iron Banner, if it is still going on for you when you're watching this video. Just remember that, that the, uh, the impact is not all that great. Um, range for this weapon, it is, it's, you know, what you would expect out of an auto rifle. You know, it's not going to be, you know, comparable to a scout rifle, but it does get the job done. I'd say close to medium range. It will suffer at a far. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, going on to stability, it... It, uh, the stability in this gun is not overall bad. I don't have my, uh, my, my Monte Carlo up all the way just yet. But for the time being right now, it is a very good, accurate weapon from close to medium range. The only, I guess, downfall I would say I have with the uh, stability is it does come standard with this red dot sight. Now, I do not have a problem with it. It's just in the auto rifles that you find that the sight picture in the back, it does not move, but the red dot in the barrel, it will move around, so the dot is not necessarily the most accurate thing, but like I said, you're not really trying to use this weapon at a, uh, a long range uh, engagement distance, it really is uh, mostly meant for, you know, those like nice close quarters and uh, those medium range. But let's stop talking about multiplayer because that will be coming up next. Let's uh, let's start talking about some single player. In single player, right now I'm playing in the uh, the Venus Strike on level 22, and I am a level 27. But as you can see, you know this weapon can just can just mow down enemies. It is a very respectable weapon. It does have a clip size of I think 36. Um, the damage on it is not bad. You know, going into it, I can take down. The Vex very, very easily through it. it. It does not take much effort at all to use this weapon. Um, I would say the only downfalls, like I said before, would be the range on the uh, Monte Carlo. Um, and and uh, if any of you guys that are going to be asking where to get this weapon, I am sorry, but it is just one of those things I cannot tell you. Like, I, like you probably already heard before, Destiny does not really have the best looting system. It is all based on luck. So, for all those people that I know that are going to be asking where I did get this weapon, I'm sorry. I mainly just got out of luck. But, I mean, I did get it from doing the uh, the weekly nightfall, not the weekly, but the uh, nightfall strike. So, you can get weapons from there. I've seen people get it from the Vault of Glass. You know, it is just really based on luck. But, I mean, if you want to try to go out and try to go get this weapon, I would, say, I would suggest going to play the nightfall and uh, the Vault of Glass. Um, other than that, there's really no other way to get this weapon other than luck. And, uh, you know, that really does sum up this video. Um, talking about the Monte Carlo, next we have some, uh, some multiplayer gameplay. You can watch and see, uh, what it does. But, those are pretty much the basics of the weapon. If I had to give this a, uh, rating out of 10, I would give this weapon a solid 7. It really does hit some standpoints, but, you know... When you're on some PvP maps, like you can see right here, it does take a little bit of time just to take down those enemies. But it all depends, you know, if you can land those shots on the head, this, this weapon will destroy. But, you know, anywhere from, you know, the waist down, it will suffer. And other people that have, you know, some scout rifles, some pulse rifles will be at an advantage at you there. So just remember when you're using this weapon, go for headshots. And uh, if you go for headshots, it's mainly, I would say, a three to four... Uh, four shot kill so just keep that in mind um this weapon does have a uh, perk to keep it up so uh your hip fire is pretty good so whenever you're in some uh, pvp action just remember that your hip fire will not be a bad threat it will 
be uh, kind of like some steady aim. So you have that going on. And one thing this weapon will be, is if you can get it very upgraded, it does have a perk that lets the stability be all the way up. Um, not mostly all the way up, but just if you can have your upgrade your Monte Carlo a decent amount, your stability for this weapon will be absolutely amazing. I would probably compare it to the ACR for Modern Warfare 2. For those of you who really don't, it, it's pretty much, it's very accurate. It's, it's a lead hose. I mean, you can just lay down fire, you know where you're aiming, those bullets will go there. There is no chance that it will not miss. Um, so for that being said, yes, that is the Monte Carlo. Um, it's a very decent weapon, and uh, I'm going to leave this gameplay up so you can keep watching. I do have a little bit of a glitch in here where uh, I did put up my Titan bubble shield, and uh, I do get teleported like a warlock out of the to a different spot. So I'm going to leave you guys here. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Zone A lost. Enemy captured Zone A. Zone C lost. Zone A neutralized. Enemy captured Zone C. Zone B neutralized. Zone A secure. Zone B secure. Zone C neutralized. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. Enemy captured. Zone A. Zone B lost. Enemy captured Zone B. Zone B neutralized. Heavy ammo inbound. Zone C lost. Heavy ammo available. Enemy captured Zone B. You neutralized Zone A. Zone C secure. Zone B neutralized. Enemy captured zone A. Zone B secure. It's a massacre. Another battle won. On to the next fight. <laughs>